Zora Kamalova works tirelessly on her farm at the Tajikistan Afghanistan border. She is 58 years old and has been farming for almost 30 years now. The wheat she produces helps her feed her family, and during a good harvest, she manages to make some extra money. <laughs> What Zora and other farmers in the region are facing is the lingering impact of environmental and water mismanagement coupled with the poor state of infrastructure in a post-Soviet era. Even with governments trying to address these issues, there's a lot more that needs to be done. Helping improve water, food and energy security by strengthening energy water linkages across the Central Asian region is the Central Asia Energy Water Development Program or CADEP. CADEP is a multi-donor trust fund started by the World Bank in partnership with DFID, SECO, USAID and the European Commission. CADEP addresses the challenges of improving the cooperation between countries on the management of water and energy resources in the Aral Sea Basin to promote mutually beneficial opportunities. With glaciers in Central Asia melting rapidly, the water supply of millions could be affected. Agriculture is the mainstay of the region's economy and downstream countries are largely dependent on the upstream countries of Tajikistan and Kyrgyz Republic for water for irrigation. Uzbekistan relies for 90% of its water supply on upstream countries and the shortage of water during summer months has led to the acute salinization of soils, leading to crop destruction. Meanwhile, the upstream countries of Tajikistan and Kyrgyz Republic do not have thermal resources. During Soviet times, water and energy were shared between up and downstream countries. This system has now collapsed. During winters, upstream countries generate hydropower to meet energy demands. In doing so, they release more water in winter and cause floods in downstream countries as well as water shortages in summer. The need for better cooperation over resources has made energy water linkages inextricable for national security, regional stability and economic growth in this region. While transnational water sharing issues are crucial for stability in the region, even at the local grassroots level, water management between farmers has been a challenge in the past. Over 10 million hectares of agricultural land in Central Asia depend on these canal waters for irrigation and 50% of the land is affected by salinization and waterlogging as a result of poor irrigation and drainage systems. This severely impacts food security, also disrupting the livelihood of many people. But the setting up of Water Users Association, or WUAS, which is a local association of farmers' representatives, is slowly improving water management at farm level. Also improved irrigation methods are resulting in better crop cultivation and good relations between farmers. Old and porous canals are being replaced by new irrigation methods, resulting in more efficient use of water. Thousands of farmers are benefiting from the 500 VUAs in Kyrgyz Republic alone, while there are many more being formed across Central Asia, helping farmers improve their crops and make profits. Today, countries in Central Asia are getting better equipped to combat the growing threats of climate change and stresses on energy and water security. Through improved water management systems, 
efficient heating and power supply and regional cooperation between the Central Asian countries on energy and water resources. Most importantly, millions of people are being able to improve their livelihoods. Sami Andozei resident az un muzdi no chizi am boshat muz giriftam zindagi onho behtar behtar shud. Many are gaining economic independence. Mausimian ki bosha misol mo soyb yak mablagh dem zano hama dar chiloq mo behat kam bizoat bisiyat. And there is also enhancement of peace and security in this beautiful and important region of Central Asia.